Day eight and the almost paralysis of daily life continues. Protesters are still on the streets of the Lebanese capital Beirut and other cities across the country. The country is at a standstill as the protest movement enters its second week. Schools, universities and banks remain closed. They are keeping up the pressure on the government to resign. The president, Michel Aoun, who the protesters also want removed from office, addressed the nation for the first time since the crisis began. He presented his solution by promising to fight corruption and invited the protesters to engage in dialogue. The regime cannot be toppled from the streets. The regime must be changed through conditional tools. Now we have economic models to bring jobs. We also have concerns about the economy. I am willing to listen to your demands. I am waiting for you. His invitation was swiftly rejected. Civil society activists say the people have heard promises like these before. The president's speech did not address that. He had promises that he will address corruption and try to return some of the stolen money. But that's just promises. Uh, there is no confidence uh, with the people that they will actually, that the government will follow through and recover the stolen money. They say they want radical change. They want new faces in power who are not affiliated with the governing parties. And they're promising to keep Lebanon on lockdown until that happens. So blocking the roads is very essential because we have to keep the country as paralyzed as possible. Uh, of course, everything related to food, water, transport, and main, the people who can't afford maybe to, we need, we need to eat, we need to drink. The governing coalition says the protest is only worsening the economic crisis. They're also accusing opposition politicians of riding the wave of popular anger to push their own political agenda. The governing coalition is refusing to resign and ignoring calls for early elections. Their messages change can only happen at the ballot box at the appointed time. Both sides are not budging. This stalemate is dangerous in a deeply divided society. So far, the army has not taken a side. It hasn't used excessive force to open roads. It hasn't emptied squares. It has kept the anti-government demonstrators and loyalists apart. There have been counter-protests by supporters of political parties in power. So far, they've been spontaneous and limited in numbers. That can change. Zena Khadr Al-Jazeera, Beirut.